Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy and this is Dino Budget. And I just want to say, hey guys, how you doing? How's your budget going? Um, happy early Merry Christmas and holiday season for everyone. Um, I hope you're getting excited. It's almost here. And so today it's time for another pay back my credit card. <laughs> Um, if you are new to the channel, guys, I do use my credit card for a lot of my spending throughout the week, and then I go back into my cash envelopes and I pay my credit card back. So I do keep in mind how much I have in there so that I try not to go over budget. Still happens. But that's life. I'm human. And we address that from a different envelope at the time if it happens. But other than that, guys, it's really helped me stay focused, stay on track with my budgeting. And so we are going to go ahead and unstuff that money today. So before we do, let's quick see what T-Rex is trying. Remember, no matter what type of day you're having, at least you're not a T-Rex trying. To get gum off the bottom of his feet. Ew. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's not coming off. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. So today was definitely a lot more spending than last week, guys. Last week was oof, barely anything at all. And this week, oh, yes, the whole page. I almost had to go to a second page. <laughs> so let's add up our totals and see what we've got. So eating out, we have 15, and then we have 14, and then this 12 right here, I actually already have in my account, so I'm going to go ahead and check it off. It's already been paid back, and then one more down here, we have 19, so we have a total of 48 that we need to unstuff. And then spending, we have 95 and 15 and 92 for a total of 202. Groceries, we just have one at 12. Christmas Us, we have 31. My husband has finally completed my Christmas shopping. He kind of waits to the last minute and I get a little nervous sometimes, but he got it done. <laughs> All right, Christmas with others. I have 22. Treat yourself, which is my spending envelope or savings envelope, if I actually would save anything, is going to get 18. We washed the car this week for eight. We just had one bill come out for 15. And we got breakfast on our anniversary, which was this past Saturday. It was fun. We got breakfast in the morning and then we went to the restaurant we wanted to go to was already booked for dinners. So we had to do like a really, really late lunch, early dinner or dinner <laughs> as we call it. So we went out to a nice restaurant, had a good time, ended up spending like $10 less than I budgeted, which wasn't like a ton, but for me, that's a win. Because whenever it comes to like budgeting for like fancy restaurants, I just I somehow always under budget because it's like, oh, a special occasion, I'm going to order whatever I want. And even when I add that up in my head, I still usually overspend. So with tip coming in under $10 was awesome. <laughs> so those are our totals. Let's get our grand total real quick. 48, 202, 12, 31, 22. 18, 8, 15, and 15 should be a total of 371. Let me go ahead and write that in marker. All right, let's get going and unstuff some money. So I'm going to slide you over a little bit here so we still have our totals. 
Let's go ahead and start with our Bills binder just because that is the one that is closest to me right now. And we are going to need our Netflix bill. And we have 10 and 15. So we are all good on that. And I will go back and update my trackers when I am done with the video. Next, let's do you and me. <clears throat> so I'm going to go into my sinking fund and I need 18, but I only have 10. So we're gonna take the 10 for now and I will need to get another $8 from somewhere. I'm just gonna mark, make a note to myself that I only took out 10. And, oh, we have our anniversary. Can't let that sneak away from me. <laughs> so our anniversary dinner, we did pay cash for. I took cash with me. And so the remainder is in here, but we did use our card for breakfast. So we need 15 and it looks like I'll have to break a 20, take back a five. And the reason I still have so much left in here is because we are gonna go get some pedicures and I am going to treat myself to some Christmas nails, which is why I have the uh, Naked Nail Club right now. And so, um, that was not until this week, so we were kind of splitting up some of our fun activities for our anniversary between two days. So let's see how much we have left over. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. So we have $145, which should be more than enough, plus a nice tip to get those done. So that should be it for this binder. Let's go ahead and mark off anniversary. And I will wait to mark off my expenditure until I cover that last $8. Next, let's go on to the Christmas binder. And what I'm actually going to do in here is I'm going to start back at miscellaneous food we're going to leave and start back at miscellaneous. So it's a little bit of a hot mess on how I tracked my expenses this week, but I used my mom's card for some things and she used some things for me, just depended on who was ordering. And so our totals actually came out to be like almost the exact same within a few dollars. So we just said, okay, I'll pay for the stuff on my credit card. You pay for the stuff on yours. It's a wash. And so while I wrote down some of these as spending, it really was actually from my Christmas funds for what I actually purchased. Um, these were kind of her purchases. So what I'm going to do is I am done Christmas shopping. The only thing I have left is to go grab a couple bottles of wine to take to some Christmas events. And so that is what this 20 will be left for. So we are going to go ahead and any rollover of that wine will just come out of my groceries because I still have plenty this week. So we're going to take out what I have left for Christmas. So I took out my miscellaneous of 20. Gifts for my husband and I has 40. Gifts for others has 10, 20, 1, 2, and 3. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take 20 out of this. This is my normal gifts fund. This is for anything except for Christmas. But just because I needed a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of there since there was a couple extra gifts I had to purchase that I forgot about. So we'll take 20 out of there as well. And what we are going to do is take this total, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, and 3. Double check myself here, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we have 103. And so I do have a couple of actual Christmas ones. So a Christmas one here and here that I need to take out of that first. So the 103, we're going to take out 
the 31 here, and then we're going to take out the 22 here. And well, I did not do that on purpose, but it came down to exactly $50 left over. So we're going to go ahead and check off these two. And then let's go ahead and take the $8 out that I need in order to complete my purchase. Where was that? Up here. Oh, I crossed off the wrong one, but that's okay because that one's getting it too. And that's going to leave me 42 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that $42 to my spending, which my spending had a total of 202. So 42 of that is going to be covered. And then the remainder will come out of my spending envelope. Um, a little bit of a crazy way to do it, but I just wanted to take care of everything out of the Christmas section since it was there to use. And some of my purchases were Christmas things. So let's go ahead and take 202 minus the 42. So we're gonna need 160 out of my spending. So let's grab that. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to break a hundred. So it's, or 200, <laughs> nice. I tried to get away with it, but that didn't work. So out of 200, I'm gonna take 40 back. We'll take it in the 20s. So now I have 20, 40, 50, 55, 56 left in spending, which is not bad. I was hoping to have a little more, but for all the shopping we got done, I am okay with it. Let's go ahead and mark off our spendings. All right, and let's see, do I have anything else in here? Eat out, groceries, car wash, eat out. All of that is in my wallet. So let's go ahead, take out my wallet. Groceries is gonna need 12. take out, I gotta rip 10 here. We're gonna send that back to the bank. So 10 and 11, 12 with these. And in groceries, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. So I have 98 left. I do need to do some grocery shopping here to get me through the next few weeks. Actually, just a few days until the holidays start up. Hopefully, we'll get some yummy leftovers from that. And then I will just have a few days next week. So we should have plenty. Let's go ahead and mark off groceries. <laughs> Apparently, the harder I push the cap on, the more it flies back off. So next, let's go eat out. And eat out, we had a grand total of 48. So let's see what we have in here. We have a 50. So let's go ahead and take the 50 and give ourselves two ones back. And we have a total of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So eleven dollars left in eat out. I may be grabbing some from groceries. We will see. I just wasn't sure how these two weeks were gonna go with all the holidays and traveling going on. So I gave myself a good chunk of money in both accounts so I can flip flop between the two if I need. And let's mark off our eat outs. All right, and I believe the last one we have is car wash. So I need $8 for that. So we have five, six, seven, eight, leaving us with 10. And we should be good on that. All right. Let's see if we have a total of 371.
We have 100, 200, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 60, 8, 69, 70, 71, 371. Going back to the bank, you guys. That was a lot of spending, but hopefully we are nearing the end of it all. Thanks to the holidays coming upon us and almost being done. And we can get back to our normal spending and savings. And I am just so excited, you guys for the new year and for all the savings goals I have. Um, if you have not seen my savings challenges goals for next year, uh, the video I made, I will link it up above below, <laughs> above below. <laughs> I will link it up above <laughs> for you guys and you can check that out. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, please considering subscribing and joining the Dino family. I would love to have you. We have fun over here doing, uh, our goal is large savings on a small budget, just like the poor T-Rex with his large head and tiny arms. So guys, I hope you have an amazing day, amazing rest of the week, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all the other holidays you may be spending with family and friends at this time. And until next time, guys, bye.